Ladies and gentlemen, on today's agenda, stop number one, we're going on over to Inazitex headquarter to pick up some new wrap rolls for the R34, which will be revealed very, very shortly, but that's going to go in this car, we are in the daily, and afterwards, the juicy stuff. My buddy Marco has returned from Chicago, not with the FD this time, but instead, the twin turbo Liberty Walk Huracan that he just purchased. What's oh up, sir? yes How sir are you? what up brother how thanks. you doing doing good how about you fantastic thanks for having me man thanks for coming on out to el Monte of all places yeah so what brings you out here um some some of these right here yes yeah, so, some of these things yeah exactly and for a special <laughs> car right absolutely will uh will people know about the car by the time this video yes, goes live yes they will absolutely right, so congrats again thank you brother congrats. they will not know what color it is though so we're gonna leave that box untouched but if you want to yes. give me a little Tour what, of the HQ. What color do you guys think it's gonna be though? Yeah, I'll leave a little question. comment. It could be any of these. Wow. Fuck, did I go with the right color, bro? Oh my goodness. I think you did. I think you did. It's gonna be unique. Exactly. You know, a little different. I mean, there's those tried and true colors that everybody likes to do, but mm -hmm. even my the marketing guys and I were talking, it's like, you know, there's certain colors that are just too common. And I think the color yeah, you dude. chose is unique. It's how super. many uh, midnight purple R34s are there out there already, man? Bro, too we, many too many to count. We had to go with something else, you well, know? There's yeah, Millennium Jade, Midnight Purple. Those are like the two colors that are the most uh, I, would, I don't want to say played out because they look good. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why so many people like them, but you know what I mean. Yeah, we want to so, be different out here, and exactly. I think we went with something a little, you know, off the spectrum here. But Ooh, you want to give me a little hmm. tour of this place? So, yeah, What's this going is, on? This is our humble abode. You know, it's not much. We've got our dining room here, wall of rolls, lounge, um, cutting room over there. There's small storage here, but we're kind of spread out. We're going to be moving in about two months to a bigger facility. Nice. Uh, that encompasses training. Uh, you know, marketing, office space, order processing, like fulfillment. Because right now we have three locations that are spread about 10 minutes apart from here. From here, And it's Damn. just like, yeah, too much <laughs> running around. Yeah. After four years, enough. But I'll show you upstairs as well. So everything's going to be under one roof after that. Exactly. Nice. I don't think the viewers know what you drive quite yet. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's, it's something light. It's nothing too crazy. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. there's a picture of it on the wall right there. Smack dab in the middle. And that is what he drives, boys. I wish it was the one on the right, but you know, <laughs> we can all dream. Greg's car, man, it's Greg's so nice. So sick. Gotta have the unicorn. That was honestly, that was a moment for the company. Game changer, huh? I mean, color change was kind of fading out at that point, like or not color change, color shifting. Yeah. Uh, you know, shades. Absolutely. Uh, but we kind of revived it. There was like a resurgence with that color, obviously with Choi, you know, behind it and that car. <clears throat> I mean, just dude, yeah. it's different than the other color shifting ones. This one's like brighter and like flashier and i don't know man but i really also, like this one but it's also elegant in a way yeah you know there's some color shifts out there that are i don't want to say tacky you know everybody's yeah. got their own taste but they're a little too much Absolutely. this one just hit the nail on the head i, I in my opinion if someone's um, putting it on their p1 it is not tacky brother exactly we got <laughs> christian marketing manager what's going on brother and yeah this is the upstairs this is kind of you know work hard play hard so mm -hmm. we've got legos toys racing sim ping pong conference table that's kind of messy right now a sick, bar. dude it's a sick spot bro so close to me too it's worked out for us for the last four or five years but we've outgrown it which is why anytime we hit a point where we're like shit we need a new space we just go and get another facility but <laughs> now it's just like three or four facilities all within 10 minutes there's a lot of running around yeah no makes more. sense no more i have a little question for you what's up how do you guys like determine what new color is coming in like um I mean, that's a tough one. Yeah. I, I think what really helps us is that we're car people, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. So when you're a car enthusiast, you look at a lot of the OEMs, you see a lot of new cars that are coming out and you're gonna, you know, certain colors are gonna appeal to you. So if you look at our lineup, there's a lot of PTS colors. There's some colors from Lamborghini. We have obviously Ferrari, Russell Corsa Red. We've got some Audi colors, BMW colors. I mean, but then there's also certain colors that are homegrown that we just want to add in some pastel tones here and there. Um, but I think we are heavily inspired by the OEM nice. side of things, um, just cause, yeah. And I think that's why people fuck with you guys so much, bro. I mean, bro, Midnight Purple, five years ago, nobody had it. And that was really one of the colors that helped the company propel through its mm -hmm. first year of growth. Cause I mean, we all love Midnight Purple. I think it's Absolutely. a unanimous win. And to be able to put Midnight Purple on anything, it, I mean, mm -hmm. game over. Mm -hmm. Nardo Gray's another one. Nardo yep. Gray, Chalk Gray, I mean, come on. 
So. And the jade too, bro. Oh, the jade. And that jade, our Millennium Jade, is actually derived from legit paint samples. It so looks, it's the closest dude, you can get. It looks so good, bro. I could not tell the difference between wrap or paint when I saw one of those, dude. Game so over. So good, bro. And so we've got some merch here. I'm going to give you a... Oh, my guy. Actually, I don't know. Let's see. Do we have the color you're going with? Oh, we can't oh, show them I that. Know. I see it, though. I see it. So, something, something similar. Similar. Yeah. similar. Thank you for this, brother. It's going to be blacked out, so they have no idea. Yeah, so this is uh, our Logitech setup. Uh, I don't know, for those who saw our SEMA booth, Logitech had a heavy presence with like you know, two SIMs back to back. They let us keep a whole setup, which is pretty sick. That's the new direct drive wheel. Dude, that's so hard, bro. Yeah. It literally, my arm, my left arm is sore today because I was running rally, WRC <laughs> rally yesterday, and it snapped on me. So, Dude, are you guys hiring here, bro? Uh, you know, maybe, maybe, we'll talk. <laughs> so what am I looking at here? You're looking at, this is glass cleaner for our window film, but you can use it on any window, so I'm just giving it to you. Uh, wrap care. This is the wrap shine. It's like a quick wax. Use it in between washes. Makes, I guess, adds a little hydrophobic uh, layer okay. to the film. Makes it nice and slick. And this is a pH neutral car wash shampoo. So whenever you're dealing with wrapped cars, you can't just use any soap. Uh, if you want to prolong the life of it, always use a pH neutral. So we got to offer something in-house. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Once again, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to my guy, Greg from Minaza Tech. None of this would be possible without him. But for the juicy part of today's video, we are now going to meet up with Chazzy and Marco for a private sunset photo shoot, which means I got to sit another hour of traffic. <laughs> What the fuck happened there, dude? All right, we are absolutely in the middle of nowhere to one of Chazzy's famous photo shoot spots. I might die around one of these turns right here. Jesus Christ. Oh, well, what do we have here? We're on the seat. What's hey, up? what's <laughs> up, brother? What's going on here? Oh, we got a You're replacing that with my car, the daily? Yeah, get out of here, bro. What's up, Chris? Oh my God. Oh my God, a lot of brothers out here. <laughs> You didn't come to my meet. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that the air suspension? Nice, <laughs> nice. Hey, you haven't told the viewers, what am I looking at here, bro? It's just a stock uh, 2016 Huracan. It doesn't look stock, bro. <laughs> You're lying to me. Um, you know, it has the Liberty Walk V2 body kit, some custom headlights. Um, nothing too crazy, you know. There's no turbos stop that why did i think it was twin turbo bro <laughs> why did i think it was twin turbo i don't know are you lying to me is it actually i don't know go check for yourself dude i don't know is this guy fucking with me bro, is he is it twin turbo you see some how the fuck oh hmm. just take off the bumper mm, i don't see any turbos buddy see i told you Dude, seriously, are there turbos or not? Here, Chris, come over here. The turbos are underneath the engine. Yeah, it's in the front. It's in, in the, the front? Yeah. The thing vibrating, yeah. that was the uh, turbos. Okay. Yep. Bro, Marco, I can't find the fucking turbos, bro. Know, dude, Where is it? hidden in there somewhere. Dude, dude, don't worry. Should I keep, keep looking? looking? Okay, keep okay. Looking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it apart. Dude, see the, dude, I told my viewers it's twin turbo and it's NA, bro. What, like they're gonna fucking be pissed, they're bro. Be pissed. Don't worry, we'll make another one when they're turboed. Actually, is so that's out. happening, huh? That's happening. So who's doing it? If you don't mind me asking, any idea yet? Um, there's this place in Chicago, AMS. Okay. I'm thinking about going with that kit. <laughs> Why isn't that working? Someone fucked up the wrap on uh, yesterday. Or not yeah, yesterday, on Saturday. Someone dropped the bottle on it. Actually. Someone dropped the fucking tequila bottle on it. Only if I came to your car meet, I would. If only you came, you could have protected it. The airlift suspension. Nice. <laughs> no trunk space. You know how we came from uh, from Arizona? How? With garbage bags full of clothes. What am I looking at? Sit inside and look up. Sit inside and look up. Damn, this shit is slammed to the floor. Oh. Oh. How did you find the spot? What? Oh, no stopping in this chazzy area. <laughs> this is your spot, dude? Dude, you look so majestic with the sun uh, behind you. Do I look light skin? <laughs> Give me the light skin face. Hold on, hold on. Oh, dude, I would slide in your DMs for sure. Hey, Marco, I want like a super sexy shot of you getting out of the car. What's up? <laughs>
makes the cars. You know, I work in the porn industry now. I, I actually do. I work with Vixen. Shout out Vixen. Because of that, I get to work with girls like Violet Myers, Kazumi, you know. So when are we doing a collab, bro? And he's being dead ass serious, dude. No, I'm serious. I'm dead serious, too. Uh, when do you want to? When do you want to come film for them? Whenever Violet's on set, just you know, hit my line. This guy's working with porn stars now, bro. What the fuck? I'm about to be beaten off to that. And why am I on <laughs> YouTube with it? If you've jerked off to it, Andrew's filmed it. You're welcome. <laughs> hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. On that note, I'm out, brother. What's up, brother? Okay. So I just yes, don't sir. Know. See you, brother. Yeah. Nice to nice see you see always. You, I'll see you in Chicago next time. My brother. My dog. Peace out. Thanks for the invite, man. Yes, sir. Photos on your page, eh? Check it out, boy.